Hi everybody! Welcome to Storytime! Did you choose this wonderful book? Oh, it does look fun, doesn't it? It's called Little Giraffe's Big Idea by Benjamin Richards and Louise Forshaw. Should we see what Giraffe's Big Idea is all about? Little Giraffe's Big Idea. Far away in the African savannah, among the acacia and baobab trees, lived a little giraffe named Gregory. Hi Gregory! Every day was the same. Gregory had no one to play with and he was sad. He had no giraffe friends and all the other animals pl only played with their own kind. Here's the rhinos, the elephants, the springbuck and the lions. But poor Gregory doesn't have any friends. But one day Gregory had a big idea. Perhaps if he dressed up to look like the other animals, they would let him join in their games as well. Hmm. Do you think that would work? So Gregory set off about searching the savannah for things that he needed. He searched high up in the trees. He searched low in the down in the grass. He even searched underwater. <laughs> until finally he was ready. Nervously Gregory put on his first disguise. What kind of fun ostrich games are we all playing today? He asked the ostriches, hopefully. You're not a real ostrich, you're a giraffe, squawked the noisy ostriches. Anyway, you couldn't keep up with us, you're way too slow. Determined to find someone to play with, Gregory put on another disguise. Hey, can I play with you? he asked the rhinos. You're not a real rhino, you're a giraffe, bellowed the angry looking rhino. Anyway, you're not strong enough to wrestle with us. But Gregory didn't give up easily and soon he had put on another disguise. Hey guys, can I swim with you? he asked the crocodiles in the watering hole. You're not a real crocodile, you're a giraffe, snapped the mean looking crocodiles. Anyway, giraffes are terrible swimmers. Giraffes are also very stubborn. Gregory was no exception. He kept on trying. Look, he's put on another disguise. Can I join in your game? He asked the lions as he shook his mane and showed his teeth. Roar, said the lions. You're not a real lion. You're a giraffe, roared the majestic looking lion. You're oh, too tall to hide in the grass and you'll scare away our dinner. Gregory thought about giving up, but then he took a deep breath and he put on the greatest disguise yet. Can I please play with you? He asked the elephants in a very big, loud voice. Oh, look at his disguise. Do you think that's a good one? Oh dear, I don't know if that's a good one. Hey, what do you think everybody? All the elephants turned and looked at him. Gregory hoped, hopefully, but one by one they just started to laugh. You're not a real elephant. <laughs> You're a giraffe. And you look so ridiculous. Look, the snake wasn't very happy, was he? 
Gregory decided he had enough. Nobody wanted to play with him. Gregory felt ever so sad and lonely. That afternoon, Gregory heard a commotion in the distance. Then he saw something incredible. The strangest giraffes that he had ever seen were coming down towards him. Look at the shadows. Look at that. Look at the giraffes coming down. What do you think they are? Are they giraffes? <gasps> wow! But they weren't giraffes at all. All the animals were very sorry for not allowing Gregory to join in their games and they dressed up to look just like him. And from that day the animals of the African savanna always played together. Did you like that story? It was a fun one about Gregory. Why don't you choose another? Or give my page a like and a follow. Let's see you again soon. Bye everybody.